on what happened here. Cause this is the big trending topic of the week <laughs> between bam, bam, exploding <laughs> uh, jet. Yeah. And unfortunately it seemed as if maybe he was preventing himself from being exploded by freeze. Because it is ironic that the things that happened in St. Louis, uh, Freeze was involved in both of them, you know, indirectly. But still, your opinion. I want to know whose fault it is. You can be as biased you want if you're a big Jet fan or whatnot. This is a, a complete yeah. hats off, just banter. Oh, yeah. Um, fun one. The, uh, yeah, the way I saw it, and I'm sure everybody's broken it down already, is um, is so there was uh, – who, who was it? It was um, – McElrath was ahead, then Hunter, then Jet. McElrath took the most outside line. Hunter cut in on that by a few feet. And then Jet, Jet is turning in where there's a, there's not even like, there's hardly even lines. Like there's no run that direction. I mean, he took such an inside inside line. I, I just, I like think that, uh, you know, I, Jet is an amazing writer, but like everybody likes to talk about his maturity at this level. But like, I, I know exactly. I, I raced Mammoth, Mammoth, uh, you know, every few years, and I know exactly what would happen if I cut in that early on the first lap at any corner at Mammoth, and uh, it seems crazy. Like I know exactly, you know, he cut in so, so low or so early in that corner. Like you just have to. I, I would know exactly what would happen if I was at Mammoth. I would get blasted by, and then I would get run over by fifty more bikes probably. It's crazy what he did, I think. And uh, I, I don't think that's a sign of his maturity level. I think it's just he's an awesome writer. And uh, and I, I don't – yeah, I think he's made a few of those kinds of mistakes that don't look like maturity. But um, So for you, overconfidence got him bit is what you're saying. I, I can't – I don't – honestly, I can't figure out what would have been going through his head like that's – I heard, you know, some other opinions that, you know, he's not used to being, he's used to being by Cooper Webb and, and Jay Sexton and those guys. And, and maybe he would have been a little bit more safe in that area, but he was a little bit more mid pack. And so um, a little bit more surprising riding, but I, yeah, I, I don't know what he would have been thinking right there on first lap doing that. I think he probably would have gotten by easily on later laps, but yeah, first lap just seems crazy. Mike, your opinion. He wasn't you, in first. He wasn't in first or second. So basically, my take on this jet is amazing. He's he's also a really good kid, right? But he's not normally in fifth. <laughs> so now here's some circumstances that you know I got to get out of fifth. I need to get up to fourth, third, fourth, you know, second. And he cuts down in this corner, maybe not spending a lot of time in this position in his career, much less in a race. So he cut down, he's got this train wreck coming behind him, and he gets T-boned. Yeah. You see his helmet gets tapped by Stewart's uh, back. Yeah. Back. Like Barsha, on the other hand, also a really good guy. Like, people can criticize him all they want for his style. His style is his style. I don't think you're going to change the stripes on a tiger. And he's coming in hot, just not – he. he Obviously, he didn't do it on purpose. He was hoping that Jet was going to stay high and he can get on with his day. And um, Jet cut down. It's just to me, it's just circumstantial. They're both really good kids. And uh, you know, I actually called over to Honda this week just to make sure he was okay, and he is. So hopefully, we just live to fight another day. Awesome. Well, I, I what, honestly, what the, sorry. What were the guys thinking in or Eli Sexton? I wonder what was going on in their helmets. Like, were they super? Were they seeing the doors open to the to the rest of the season? Like, what was going on in their minds? Were they like, that's exactly why you know I'm going to win this championship? Like, I wonder what those thoughts were going on in their heads. I can tell you, we don't have a dog in that fight, but I can tell you, our guys don't want to see anybody get hurt. So, I think the first thing. You take someone like a Eli, who's very mature, and a Chase that's very mature. I would think the first thing that goes through their mind is, "I really don't want to see anybody get hurt." Yeah, mm -hmm. well, it, it's it's a family. It's a family first, but speculation as far as the business aspect of it, it's like, cool. Here's an opportunity. I'm gonna take it. 
And Mike, what you said before earlier in this podcast about you don't want to take the fire away from somebody, that's that's basically Barsha's writing style is if you're trying to limit him to prevent him from being him, you know, you're really killing that that flame that he has. Um, and what I take from your explanation on stuff is Jed is just inexperienced with being mid pack on the first couple laps. And so he didn't know not to make that mistake for doing that, that somebody like Barsha could potentially be there and, and make that happen. I appreciate both of your views on this.